All right, everybody, good morning, friends, family, fans, and finish line focused, fantastically fine folks. Look at that right there. That is a mountain. That is Musalak Mountain. It's not, Sweet says it's not even the tippy top or whatever, it's just the, kind of the beginning of it. So, wow. Here is our shuttle ride, and here is our shuttle driver. Hello, Miss Sweet. Yeah. Yay. Gigi's best friend. Yeah. Gigi, <laughs> I think about you. She is so excited that we're back together again at the same hostel. So. That's wonderful. Yeah. It's a small trail. I knew we'd see each other again eventually. Yeah. And they'll be out in Maine, too, yep. Yep. to see us. Yeah. That's so, awesome. thank you for the awesome pancakes and the, yeah. and the great ride this morning. Anytime. Happy All right, thanks. And here's my buddy okay. Gourmet. Where are you from, Gourmet? Uh, Georgia. Georgia. The okay. Area. All right. Yep. How's yeah. how's the trail been treating you so far? So far, so good. All right. You looking? Just, just 400 miles left. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Looking forward to this little hill in front of us. Yeah. I think the I think the shark's gonna help me get up. Oh right? yeah. <laughs> That's his regular yeah. pack. That's you should see pack. when he's slack packing. <laughs> All right, we'll stop for now. Thanks again, sweets. Be careful going back. Thank you. Happy trails. All right, I'll see you guys tonight. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, we got shuttled here. It's 8 o'clock, about 10 after, I guess. And fixing to climb Musalak, southbound. All right, as you can tell, I am standing here. It is, what is today? Wednesday, uh, the 23rd. And I'm at the base of Mount Musalak. That's her back there behind me. So everybody's taken off, I guess except for Kerdog. Uh, Sweets dropped us off here and we're headed southbound 10 miles back to the road and back to the hostel where we stayed last night. Hikers Welcome uh, Hostel. It was um, very, very, I guess, hiker friendly. You could put it that way. Uh, if you're looking for clean, uh, kept up amenities or whatever, that's not the place for you. But if you were looking for a place to crash and slack pack out of or whatever, uh, it's a consideration. So there you have it. Um, let's see. Great breakfast. Uh, had three pancakes this morning, some scrambled eggs and some bacon. It was very nice. Uh, thankful for that. It was only $5. So, uh, yep, that was a good good thing. Looks like we're headed, headed this way uh, down the trail. All right. See what's happening, yeah, just signs, we're turning left, up here on the trail. Headed southbound on the Appalachian Trail, following Hedgehog and his horrifically smelly, terrible, what kind of cigarette? Newport. Newport. Oh, Lord have mercy. Strongest. <laughs> smelling cigarettes I've ever smelled. Woo! Alright, come along with us. We're gonna go conquer Musalak. If I don't trip and die first. <laughs> Alright, about 15 minutes up Musalak maybe and check this out. <laughs> wow! Beautiful! Pretty neat. So far, it's just been pretty typical mountain climbing. Um, slippery because it's damp. It rained last night and rained, uh, or you know, you got the mist from the from the brook along here. But there's the trail, just so you get a little idea on what it's like to climb Mount Musalak. And we're going up the steep side, so we can go down the less steep side. So we're going southbound today. Nice wooden blocks for stairs. Going along beside the waterfall. It's pretty nice. See how I feel in about two hours. <laughs> it's gonna be hard not to film the whole thing, but here's the brook and here's the trail. We're like walking right alongside the brook as it falls and cascades. I just stopped and got a drink. It just looked too inviting. So I had to stop. All right, I got to put the phone away so I can keep climbing. So, uh, got up to a little bit of a flat spot here on Musalak. Uh, I've heard maybe some of the locals say Musalaki. I don't know 
what's correct or whatever, but there was a sign back there at a trail junction that said the summit was 1.9 miles and the uh, whatever shelter is like 0.4. So that's cool. We had some um, pretty fun climbing up alongside that, oh man, up alongside that stream. That was beautiful, but uh, to be honest, it was no different than a lot of what we've done other than you're parallel in that stream, which makes things wet, which I guess adds to the slipperiness or whatever. I never really, never really slipped or anything, um, but I was very careful and very prayerful as I kind of went up, uh, and I'm sure I've got some more killer climbing in the next two miles to get to the summit. So we just happened to temporarily be on a flat spot, but it's nice because my heart has come back to a normal pace. I just can't hardly climb slow. I go very fast. Um, it's like I get in a rhythm and man, I just, my feet go, my legs go. I step up on on bigger rocks that's a shorter distance instead of going like smaller rocks around a longer path. Um, and man, I passed everybody on the way up here. I'm, so everybody's way, you know, well behind me and I'm not like trying to race or anything. I wish I could slow down and just hike with them and talk and stuff, but I can't. <laughs> it's like when I'm filming at a bad spot, I can't stand there very long. I just have to keep moving. And so I end up doing stuff one-handed that I probably shouldn't. But anyway, uh, feeling feeling pretty good. Today's temperatures forecast and stuff is uh, about 70 for a high and pretty breezy, which that breeze feels amazing right now. It's starting to dry some of the sweat uh, off as I walk along this flat section. Um, anyway, sunny and pretty nice. I think it's supposed to actually be pretty nice for the next few days for sure. And so uh, that'd be nice to go through these mountains, try to get as much done as possible while the weather's good because you wouldn't want to do that stretch in the rain very bad, especially going down it. That would have been no fun. Whoa, look at the environment change. This is, huh, everything changed. All right, here we go. As you can see, we're leaving tree line. <laughs> you guys are going above tree line with Disciple on the Appalachian Trail. Southbound today. Oh boy, that breeze is going to be awfully chilly. I brought my rain jacket for windbreak so I could sit up on top. Oh, it's super, ouch, super cloudy. Or, you know, the sun was just shining. Oh, cool. Look at the cairn. Anyway, ah, oh, there's the sun. Hopefully we can get a decent view up on top. This is the first time we've been on some balds, but this is like above tree line here. Wow, all right, I'm gonna have to put my phone away so I can use my right arm because it is freezing in the wind. I'm really sweaty, which isn't a good combination. Definitely gonna need clothing options for up here. The summit of Mount Musilak. That's the summit. Boy, the clouds come in and out, in and out. Can't see anything that way. But there's little walls to get. I got behind that to get my rain jacket out for some wind protection. Uh, but this is it. Uh, I'm gonna stop till the clouds go away again. I hope. Hope they go away. 
finally pretty legit view the clouds have sort of blown off here for a minute and you can see from the top of Mount Musilac 4,800 some odd feet Whew. it is breezy and chilly though as I've been sweating uh, so much coming up but very nice beautiful Oh boy, you guys have heard me <laughs> struggle and complain and have problems and difficulties for a long time. And right now, I'm going to share my heart while I am overwhelmed, <laughs> overwhelmed and blown away that I am hiking in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. And I've walked here from Georgia. <laughs> I mean, I am blown away when I was up on that summit and walking back this direction got into the trees just a little bit and this wind was protected a little bit and I'm looking out across at the mountains and the sun was shining I just I'm just blown away wow I am in the white mountains of New Hampshire Woo. better be careful or it'll end right here I need to um, double check. I got to double check my trail here. Is there signs? And the trail that I want is the like Benton Trail. I don't see it on that one. Better look over here and see. New Hampshire Route 25. Yeah, AT this way. Now it's called the Glencliff Trail. High Street, whatever route, 25 is 4.4. All right. Uh, that was a little bit of a mood breaker. <laughs> but the point is probably better that, that way I can at least speak. Because, I mean, I have just, I'm just blown away. How awesome this is. Hey, look. Speaking of blown away, right there. Boom. Blowing up blazes on the Appalachian Trail, 1,800 miles worth. <laughs> we'll be we'll be well under 400 at the end of this day. Uh, should be about 390 to go. And I'm trying to think of what we'll be right at, like 1,800, 1,801 or two or somewhere in there. I think for total miles, remarkable. Uh, remarkable. God is so good. <laughs> Here's the Jefferson Brook uh, shelter. I just pulled off the trail real quick to to check it out. I could see it from the from the trailhead, so no big uh, ooh, <laughs> trip over a stump. No big deal. Just walked off a hundred yards or so, and because um, the day's almost over, and it's only two o'clock. Yeah, two o one. So it's a beautiful day, and I'm really enjoying uh, today. I've I've had one of the best days of the trail. It's just been really a pleasant day. It was a it was a hard climb uh, up Musilac, but it wasn't that hard. Um, it wasn't any harder than like some of the other mountains we've done. I'm glad I didn't have to go down it, and it wasn't like icy or snowy or more slippery. That would have been could have been real bad. Here's the the sign of the trail junction so off I go uh, heading south feels really weird towards the road and back to the shelter so I think I've only got like you know one to one and a half miles um, to the shelter or to the hostel so like I said it's just a beautiful day I'm just enjoying it oh it sounds like pretty waterfalls over here so let's just go check it out because we can oh yeah I'm gonna say this is Jeffers or Jefferson Brook cool beautiful I'm digging it so just so you're aware also it doesn't come as some big huge surprise at some point but my right 
ankle, whatever, is giving me some little bits of trouble. So it swells up some. I kind of feel like I have a little bit of shin splint going on. I'm actually wearing my compression sleeves today, um, which feel good to hike in. Anyway, that little ankle, it's like right from the middle of my foot kind of goes up into my lower leg. It, it just sort of hurts down there. And it's not real bad, and it's not like all the time, but just always, I mean, it's kind of like every day. It's there most of the day, and darn, it kind of hurts. So I take some ibuprofen, I take, you know, tramadol here and there, whatever, um, which is just a pain pill. Anyway, a um, little bit concerned with thinking, hope it doesn't get any worse, that's all. All right, should be about 40 minutes or so. We'll be back at the, or at least at the road, headed back towards the shelter, or the, <laughs> keep saying shelter, the uh, hostel. Hikers are welcome at the Hikers Welcome. All right, guys, I am uh, off the trail. I'm walking up the road towards the hostel. It's 20 after 2. I walked and saw a shelter. I walked and saw a waterfall. I sat on a rock and ate beef jerky and a blueberry crisp cliff bar. <coughs> I relaxed. Had a good time. Um, one of the best days uh, on the trail. It's just a super nice day. The weather's pretty gorgeous. Um, it's just amazing. And so I'm very happy to be here, happy to be doing this uh, at the moment <laughs> and feeling pretty good. So um, we'll see what uh, how the rest of the evening goes. I'm already thinking about what I want for supper at the little place we went last night. I'll take my camera tonight or the phone. I left it at the hostel trying to upload videos and the Wi-Fi was so bad it nothing would upload. So here I didn't have my phone, no videos, no uploading, whatever, no good. Um, thanks. So I was walking up on the road and cars are coming both directions so I had to get down for them to go by. Anyway, um, yeah, stay tuned. You know what? I, I really, I'm so thankful for you guys coming along. So, all right, let's do it together and we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>